My name is Dr. Karen Ehrman. I'm an interventional radiologist and I practice at Community Health Network. I did all my training at uh, IU School of Medicine. I did my residency and then I did a year of fellowship specifically in interventional radiology. I've been doing this over 20 years. They'll have an MRI. If the MRI shows that these fibroids are the type that respond well to embolization, then we're ready to go ahead and schedule that procedure if that's what the woman decides that she wants to do. So from the part of seeing me till they get their MRI, then it being approved by insurance, we're usually talking three to four weeks. I always tell my patients, it's best to take a week off. Just because you don't have a surgical incision, you still don't feel very good for a few days afterwards. And the vast majority of them feel better after three, four, five days. Um, and are ready to get back to their normal activities. Most women will see a significant decrease in their periods and their heavy flow within one or two menstrual cycles. Certainly by three months after this procedure, we should see significant improvement. Now, I don't want to bash hysterectomy because it's a very useful procedure in some patients. It really is. But we are seeing the trend that women, they want to know, gosh, why didn't someone tell me about this sooner? All patients really want to hear is that I feel confident when I go to see that doctor at Community Health Network, whoever it is in interventional radiology, they're going to get the best care possible for this problem. It ultimately comes down to the woman and her family making a decision what's right for them. This procedure has really revolutionized the treatment of symptomatic fibroids.